Welcome back everybody, this is Danny Code, and we're continuing on with the Avorian playthrough here. And I just wanted to mention right up front here that I really appreciate everybody coming by on the live stream the other day. It was a really a lot of fun for me. I hope it was a lot of fun for you guys too. There was a lot more people that came, came by than I thought would come by, so I'm very happy about that. And I will definitely be doing another live stream very, very soon, and that will be the beginning of next week, definitely. And before I do that, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before I start the next live stream, I'm going to put out like a half an hour notice, so you'll get a notice be a half an hour before, so you guys know when it's when it's starting. There's a, I, I didn't do it last time because I really didn't know how to do it, but this time I kind of found the setting in YouTube where you can actually schedule it ahead of time, so I'm going to do that. I'll give like a half an hour notice before I actually start the live stream, so you guys have a chance to come by. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, I hope to see everybody there. In this episode, however, what we're going to do is we're going to do at least one of the quests. And I think what I have my mind set on is doing the Project Exodus, which is basically finding beacons in the yellow uh, blip zones, which are the, which are the hidden mass sectors. <laughs> Thank you. That was my other mining ships. Thank you, guys. What is that? What was that from? Oh, that was from this wreckage over here. I saw him pick something up. I was like, why? Okay. Um, yeah, okay. So anyways, so I'm going to do the Project Exodus, and that is finding the beacons in the yellow blip zones or the hidden mass sectors. And those will... Those will point you to coordinates on the map to where the Project Exodus wound up. Basically, the Project Exodus is a bunch of factions early on when the Zotan first showed up. I'm looking for something to mine here. I'm not finding anything. I guess we'll just follow these guys. But uh, when the Zotan first showed up, they had a Project Exodus and they kind of went to the edge of the galaxy and they're, they're still there. So, and if you talk to them, they give you a key to use the ancient gates. Now, the ancient gates are kind of like the regular gates, but they go a lot further. So you have wormholes that, that can go, that can span pretty much the whole galaxy, or a lot of it. And then you have the regular gates, which are short jumps. So if you look at the map, the, the, these are all the regular gates. And then you'll have the ancient gates, which span, like, sections. You can span sections or... Or shorter so you just have like three different uh, lengths of traveling things there <laughs> so that aren't jumps that aren't regular jumps so and I think that will help us early on to explore a little bit more because I definitely need to explore a little bit more because as you can see that I haven't done a lot of exploring just quite yet I haven't really had a lot of time last week to to get on the server and start to explore a lot more so I basically got on the server and I did a few like I kind of did this <laughs> this is the Captain Jack design that I had that I started in the live stream and I kind of I kind of made it I kind of just put some designs on it and whatnot and as you can see I was looking for right before I started this episode I was looking to put on the emblems so the emblems are these here you can put on uh, the emblems of your alliance I think is the default if I'm not mistaken I don't really know too too much about it but I was gonna put on those just to be identified on the in the alliance and the alliance emblems are it's gonna look like this so what I want to do is I want to I think I want to put them down here and here not sure exactly where but I think that would work okay. And as you can see too, I instead of the like mustache design, let's just select this real quick. Close. I kind of refined it here a little bit, so it kind of looks a little bit more. It used to be it was just square coming out here, but it looks a little bit better, I think. And I actually put on, and these are functional, these little kind of nibs. And what they're doing here, that is the on top there that is the that is these that is the internal or integrity field generators so 
that is allowing it to have those in strategic places and also these here are functional as well these little these little green nibs so if I go to if I go to here and just look at the framework you can see that underneath those nibs have framework so if we needed to put something there we have those and as you can see I still have a bunch of big framework here and I'm probably gonna reserve these for uh, probably probably the uh, for something else <laughs> basically I'm probably gonna reserve them for like the assembly or the what else was I looking at here? They have them here, the cloning pods. I'm trying to find them. That's the academy. So the academy is one thing. And then also the assembly. The assembly lets you build things on your ship. So the assembly lets you build fighters on your ship, I should say. The academy allows you to train clones or your vanilla crew. And then... Here it is, so the cloning pods. The cloning pods allow you to clone, like kind of like in Star Wars, the clones. So basically to get more crew, you have the cloning pods making clones and then you can train those clones up at the academy to whatever you want. And then at the assembly thing, we have the more assembly you have, the more fighters you can, you can build at a time. So yeah, so that's what I want there. Yeah, so the cloning pods, you can, it'll, it'll, once you have some cloning pods, it'll be up here. And then once you have the academy, you'll be able to train any of these skills, as long as you have clones. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys that. And I did upload this. I'm gonna upload another, a newer version after this episode. And let's just go out of here like that. Oops, no. All blocks, there we go. Alright, so I wanted to put on the emblem, I think, either here or here. I'm not really sure. And I think here it'll be a little bit more visible because here it's kind of not really obscured by the nacelles, but I think here is a little bit better. Something like that. And something like that. Wait for that to, uh, yeah. Something like that will look good, I think. So yeah, I, I feel like I'm now part of the uh, the Alliance. <laughs> Alright, so we have those and... Alright, so let's go ahead and find those beacons. Looks like a secret stash of some sort. Anything good? So we got some credits there, we got a tech cargo upgrade and a quantum 2 hyperspace upgrade. So let's, can we put that on? We do have an open slot. So that'll give us three, four, yeah, so that's, hey, that was worth it. All right, let's install that sucker permanently. Hopefully we have enough, yeah, so we have enough energy for that. Nice, that was very much worth it. Oh, we have some more hostiles here. Again, they don't look on a tent on coming to me so we do have valuable objects here so let's see what else we have let's go here ah we have a blinky all right so I'm gonna skirt around these bandits here are they bandits yeah bandits so we're gonna skirt around them and then find and see what this beacon is telling us actually we don't even need to do that we just need to I think select it if we can yeah, we need to get a little bit closer because it's asteroid. Can we select it now? Let's just get a little closer. Hopefully our guys leave us alone. Yeah, they should be fine. All right, so let's see what this beacon says. All right, so mission updated, uh, Operation Exodus. So we got an 89. So the numbers here, what you find when you find the beacons is that they have these hash numbers. 
and then they'll have an x or a y, and then they'll have coordinates. So you have to get the same number. So if we find an x equals with this with the eight, number 89, then then we'll have the two coordinates. So all right, so there's one coordinate down, hopefully. And let's see what else we got. All right, looks like we have a blinker here. I think yeah, there it is. So Hopefully these guys just leave me alone, not like in the last sector, but I think they should be fine. Let's go around them anyways. Kind of get a little closer so we can select that beacon. Maybe we can select it in RTS mode. Hopefully, maybe. Get a little closer. Oh, there it is. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So, what are you guys doing? Are you guys going to leave me alone? Yeah, it looks like they're going to leave me alone. Yay. All right, so let's see what this beacon says. So that's 34. The last one we got was 89. So that's not going to do us any, any good. But again, we're just going to collect them. So maybe we'll get another 34. Very cool. One beacon, one more beacon out of the way. Let's see what else we got. Uh, it's not looking like there's any hostiles here. Ah, we got our wormhole. Let's just see where this wormhole goes. Very curious. I always like to explore the wormholes when I uh, when I come across them. So where did that jet us to? Not too far. That's cool though. That's that's pretty useful actually. Uh, let's go ahead and just kind of go into these sectors maybe. Ooh, we got some hostiles, got some bandits, and he's on the move. Is he going to come towards me? It looks like he may or may not. Do we have any blinkers? Does not look like we have any blinkers. So, I may just scoot away. I know there's some valuable objects here, but it's not looking like there's any blinkers, so I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, nope, I take that back. There's a blinker over there. Okay. Let's see if we can't select it. So, where is it here? Should show on our HUD. It is not showing on our HUD. Oh, I think we got... Ah! Bastards. Get away! <laughs> We're not away! I want that beacon! Alright, let's see if we can't select that beacon somehow. Let's grab it. Select it. There it is. So it's over here. So let's just select something close to it. There we go. Got it. Let's go towards that beacon. All right, can we select it in this mode yet? There we go. Ooh, 89. We got an 89x. Okay, so I think that's it. So I think we have 289 coordinates. So what I'm going to do is let's jump the hell out of here and go back to the wormhole, I think. I don't think there's anything there. Because I think our guys are still after me. Yeah, they're still, they're still trying to get me. See ya. All right, so let's see what we got here. So let's look at our let's look at our notes here. Um, we've got missions. There we go. So Operation Exodus, and yeah, so there we got two eighty nines. So negative three six two. Let's just I'm gonna write that down because I'm gonna forget it. So X is negative three six two. And Y, oh no, that's Y, excuse me. 
y, and then x is 1, 5, 9. So it should actually show us, I think, on the map, maybe. So, but this is going to be, what, what this is going to be is this going to be the first jump. So this won't be where they are. What this is, is going to be the first jump to another beacon. And then that other beacon will lead you to another beacon and another beacon and another beacon until you actually find them. So, all right, so let's see where that is on Le Map. And what do we say? What do we say? That is Y negative 362. So it is up here. There we go. And then X is 159. So on this here and should be here let's tag that sector and let's make our way over all right so oh we got three beacons here so that's weird so let me see what it um, updated to. So Operation Exodus updated. After deciphering the beacons, you found another beacon leading you to a new location. All right. Um, so that's, let me just look at what these beacons are. Cause I'm kind of curious. Okay, so that is the new sector right there. But we don't have to put those coordinates down. We'll have to just, it, it'll show in the details. So let's see what this one is. 204, 399, why is it three different ones? Okay, so they're all saying the same thing. So 204, negative 399. Let's see if this one says it as well. It's weird, I've never seen three of them like that. So yeah, all three of them say the same thing. And that's all that's here, so. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Works for me. Whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna put this on my thing here. So let's show the location and that is the new location. Where are we? We are, okay, so we're here and we have to come down here, okay. Sounds good to me. So I have just a few jumps here. Thankfully, I have a good uh, hyperspace drive, so that's cool. All right, so let's do this. Let's jump to this one. All right, so we're at the next one, and we have our next coordinates here. So, and there's only one beacon here, so that's a little different. So I don't think we need to talk to him. As you can see here, it updated the coordinates. So let's look at this and show location, and there it is. So we are here, and we gotta go down there. So this is this is the whole pattern. So basically, you look for the new beacons until you actually find the the Operation Exodus, and it looks like there's not too many. So usually, what I found is they're in these last two these last two kind of sectors or sections. So yeah. So we shouldn't have too many more jumps. So that's cool. So, all right, so let's get a little closer to this guy. Now, so we have this rift here, so we're probably gonna have to get around this now. I don't know which way I wanna go. So maybe, I think we're gonna go down this way and then try to get around it this way. Hopefully that works, so. But just be aware, like there's always like these rifts that will impede your progression towards things. All right, well that didn't work. And it looks like a big one, so let's just kind of go around it this way, maybe. All right, there we go. So now we can go, we should have a straight shot into that next beacon location. All right, so we're at our next beacon. And our next section, or next sector that we need to go to is 310, 459. Okay. 
so let's see here. Let's go and find the location. Oh, there it is. And it's way out there. Okay, so it's just going to take us on a very diagonal route. <laughs> okay, so that's fine. Nice. Get some good, <laughs> actually getting some good loot out of these guys. So I jumped into a sector that had a few, you know, enemies here. <laughs> and I'm so close to the edge of the galaxy that these guys are absolutely no match for me. Do we have, yeah, so we have a few more, a few more jumped in. So let's go ahead and take care of them there, them there guys. Nice. Nice. Take that please and thank you. Yeah, just pegging these guys off pretty darn quick. Oh, nice. Not dropping anything good anymore. <laughs> One did. One dropped some pretty nice stuff. I think maybe that was the guy they were fighting. Because I think uh, they finally destroyed him. Anything good? Anything good? Nothing good. Well, got some stuff. And yeah, how many jumped in? So good amount of them jumped in. It's okay though, they're not really doing anything to me. They haven't even damaged me yet. <laughs> it's always a bonus. Excuse me, Mr. Asteroid. <laughs> I didn't mean to bump you. Where are you? There you are. I think the asteroid is probably doing more damage to me than the bandits. All right, <laughs> that was one of the easiest battles I've ever had. That is a junk one here, but might as well take it. All right, very cool. Back on to the Exodus. So we have one more jump here. I think we're jumping into the next beacon. Yeah, so this is the next beacon. So fun, fun. All right, so. Nothing there. And let's look at this and show location. Yeah, so this one should be it, I think. And we're not too, too far away, so I think we may be good. I think this might be the one. Hopefully that's the one. And all right, let's get closer. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so uh, is this one it? No, I don't think this one's it. So we may have another one to go. Yeah, usually when you jump into the Exodus sector, there's a bunch of derelicts. So um, not a lot of derelicts. derelicts. We just have our blinking beacon. So, all right. So let's get one more there. So Operation Exodus, show location. Okay, so we're going back up a little bit. Hopefully this is the one. Okay, so let's get there. All right, so we are here, and again, I don't see the derelicts, so I guess we have another one to go. Oh my goodness, this is why I don't like this. I, I'm, this is literally my least favorite uh, quest, by the way. But I like doing it because then you get that artifact that unlocks the, the gates, the uh, ancient gates. So, all right, so how far do we gotta go? We gotta go quite a distance there, so that's all right. And it looks like we have a little bit of a rift going on over here. So, okay. So let's go ahead and make our way there. Hopefully this is the last one. <laughs> all right, oh, we got another beacon. Oh my goodness, how many more? I forgot that this, they have so many of these, it's crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and go do our thing. And, yep, <laughs> show location. Okay, so we're going back down this way. So this 
maybe because it's so short is the, is the, is the next one so is the last one hopefully 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 so let's go and jump and find out yeah okay so here we go so as you can see we have just a bunch of abandoned ships and derelicts and wreckages and whatnot so all right but we do have another beacon here so we're going to talk to this beacon and this should be the last one if i can select it let's go to the rts menu or RT, this view here and see if we can't select it yeah there we go communications beacon all right so let's see what we got here so i'm just gonna shortcut this basically these guys are again the exodus so i'm just gonna kind of go through the the text here and try to just get the artifact and you guys can read along if you want i'm not going to read it i've read it about 10 times now operation nexus yep yes yes and I don't understand. Dicka, 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 do. What is Operation Exodus? Largest migration of the galaxy has ever seen. Yeah, so they realized they couldn't fight the Sotan, so they they ran, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Yep, yep. It looks like there's a little bit more story here, so you guys may want to read through this. Okay. So... There we go. So I think this will lead us down here. So, but when our ancestors were fighting, so they, they must be the ones that built the gates, maybe? Or no, so if we get our hands on the Zotan technology that uh, gives us the key to the gates, maybe the ancients are the Zotan? I'm not really too sure. <laughs> I don't think that question is ever answered, by the way. Okay, so you can have it if you want. It's worthless to us anyways. We dumped it out. We dumped one of the artifacts out in a wreckage near you. Have a look around. Okay. All right. I have to go. <laughs> see you guys. All right. So we're looking for... See, and there's an ancient gate here, by by the way, as well. And that should turn on when we equip the key. So I don't see it. So let's just go to this view and see if we can't find find it take a looky look around oh so <laughs> all right so we found it um so i'm going to take off this object detector for now and then we'll stick on this so that'll allow us to go ahead and use the ancient gate that is actually in the system so where is it there it is so we're going to select that and now as you can see they have a it is active so we're going to go through there and if we look at the map yeah so that'll go straight through there so i'm going to make my way with the ancient gates i'm going to try to make my way into my home area here and i think yeah so wherever this one goes we'll go there and see how we can't make a path over to where we want to go. All right, so let's see where that took us. Yeah, so that took us quite a ways. Good. So, and there's going to be so there's going to be three gates here. But the easiest way I found to find where those gates actually go and how they're leading around. So here's one, two, and. One and two, and then three is up here. There it is. So the easiest way to found, because it really doesn't tell you, is to go ahead and go to the map and then do enter the coordinates, like you're gonna do a jump, 
and then that should show you which gate is going to go there. So this one looks like it's going in that direction, so we're going to do that. All right, so let's see where we ended up. Cool. We ended up there, and that was that big old... Or it looks like it's like right in the center of a big old rift. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so let's continue on. So this is, there's only two gates here. So we obviously need to go to this one. Okay, so these, we got three more gates here. So let's see where we ended up. Oh God, that's a good, we got four gates going on here. So, all right, so we came from down here, we're going up there, and we need to come down here. So I think either one of these may work. I have a feeling this one will probably work better, so let's go see where this one will lead. So that might help. All right, so which one is that? That must be this one here. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that's a dead end. <laughs> Uh, I am wrong. My theory was wrong. All right, so let's go back through that gate and see where this one leads. Fortunately, this one is not too far away because we just went through it. These things are very, usually they're pretty far away in the sector, like from each other. They have a good, good amount of distance between each other. So, but yeah, let's see where we go. All right, so let's go this one instead. And that is, must be this one here. Yep, looks good to me. All right, so let's see where that left us. So that's going, yeah, we may not have a direct route to come down here. So we may have to now just kind of navigate down this way so, but let's just see where this one goes. Maybe there's another one that shoots off. But if anything, we can just kind of look for some wormholes as well. That'll get us here. So, all right. So let's see where this one goes. Yeah, and this one was the other last gate there. Or there's only two gates here, so it must be the other one. Okay, so let's see where that got us. Yeah, so we're just continuing to go up there. So that is the opposite direction of where we want to go. <laughs> all right, so we're going to jump back here through the gate and then come down. So, yep, that's the plan. All right, well, we're back in our little area of the world here. What I'd like to do just to finish off this video is start to build a station. So we're gonna build a ship. Now, to build a station, I'm not gonna start with a block this time, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a station founder and then I'm going to make sure that it has, and we're just going to make it out of iron, but I want to let's see here, bring it up to a good amount of volume. I, so we have 7,000 titanium to work with, so I think that is it there. So if we need more, then we will, then we will use, the, we'll, we'll make it bigger if we need more. So, right, so let's go ahead and just name this for now, because I don't know what we're going to convert the station into. So, but we would definitely need to do a station founder. And let's go ahead and do add crew and captain for now. And that should work. So let's go ahead and start building that. Just trying to make sure that I have everything there. Do we want to make it different looking? Doesn't really matter. I don't think any of this matters either. Let's look at... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So uh, we'll just go with number seven, <laughs> whatever. And yeah, okay. So we're just going to build that. And that's going to take, what is it going to take? It's going to take six minutes. So we'll build that. 
and I'll be right back. Get away from my new ship, <laughs> you. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and we're going to set this. Just get out of here. And we will set this guy to... Let's see, we'll just set him to patrol for now. And then let's go ahead and jump into our new quote-unquote station. Alright, and we have to get it kind of far away. Not far away, but further away from the shipyard here. So we'll just use this as a guide to how far we need to go here. So I think, let's see, let's go found station. So I want to do a base station, like a basic factories. So I don't know what would really be good here, but let's just do, let's do a solar power plant. So, we may do that, so buy insurance for the station, we may do that. So let's just, that, and, all right, so what we need to do, I'm going to, since it's a base station, we can just sell and, and actively sell, and there's nothing in the current sector that we can't do anything with that. So. Bring this down to negative 10 for now because there's not our negative 20s in the sector so that's okay though so all right so we need to it appears to be doing what it, it's intended but we can we still need to do some stuff for it here so we have only let's see Let's just look at what we have as far as storage. Just show all stats. There we go. So we have cargo hold only is holding 534. So what we're going to do, since we don't need engines anymore, we're going to go ahead and convert those all those engines into cargo. So let me see here. Engine. And then let's select cargo. We'll just do iron, should be fine. And let's like go ahead and convert all the engines into cargo. There we go. So that got us a little bit more, not much more, but we're still gonna need a ton more cargo. So let's go ahead and Let's see what else we have here. So cargo bay, crew quarters, dock. Definitely don't need gyro arrays. So let's go ahead and convert those to cargo as well. Just gonna put one big old cargo bay just right here. And that's gonna get us 5,000, 12,000. It's gonna be big. All right, so let's just do this in stages. Do that. Just like that, cargo hold. So that should be good. So what I'm gonna do here though, is because cargo is better when it's all one block. As far as I know, pretty sure that's right. We're going to smoosh those together as all one block. And there's the dock just came out there. That's funny. So that's 22,000. Yeah, so that's good. So that's good for cargo. And looks like we have a customer here. All right, so cool. I think that's really all we need. Do we need, so we need some mechanics here. 
So let's go ahead and hire some crew. All right, so this is going to be good. So what I'm going to do also, we're going to, we're going to upgrade this. And because we have enough credit, so we're going to upgrade this all the way that we can. So we have six processes now. And it looks like, so the prices, so we can actually raise the prices a little bit. So let's go ahead and raise that to just bog standard here, just like so. And I think we should be good. So yeah, so we already made uh, almost 3,000. I like it. So it's saying we need more mechanics there. Um, that's weird. So why, hold on. Oh, you know why? Again, this always gets me every time. So auto assign, so that should auto assign the mechanics there, right? There we go. <laughs> Gets me every time. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, so we should be good with that. I'm going to put on... I'm going to go ahead and put on some turrets on this thing, if we have any. I don't know if we have any. Do we have any? I don't know. We'll see. Just some defensive turrets. So let's look at... I just wanted to look at inventory here. So yeah, we got quite a few already. So hopefully this makes us a good amount of money. And uh, yeah, so very cool. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. And I hope you guys liked it. And again, I'm going to be, I'm going to be live streaming probably Monday. I'm going to say Monday. So Monday around 3.30, 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. And I hope to see you guys all there. Again, I'm going to send out probably around 3.30. I'll send out a notification that I will be live streaming. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will be uploading this to the Steam Workshop. Let's just do that right now. And let's go ahead and save this. And I will upload this to the workshop here. And we'll just call this a DC Captain Jack version two. We'll call it version two. And yeah, so we'll make that public and you guys can go ahead and play around with it if you guys want to play along. So anyways, by the way, if anybody is looking for an alliance on the server, please go ahead and give a shout out to Mort or me, and we will uh, we will send you an invite. All right, so I think that is it, guys, and I appreciate everybody coming by. I hope everybody is staying safe and doing well. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the uh, thumbs up button, and if you want to be notified when there's more. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications, especially if you guys are looking for notifications to when we are live streaming. So, all right, guys, I will see everybody next time. Bye for now.